Winter is just the perfect time to stay indoors, stay warm and cozy, watch a Hallmark movie or two, and have a hearty bowl of soup. And here with a tomato soup recipe, guaranteed to warm your soul, is nutritional expert, Anessa R.D. Welcome, Anessa. Hi, thanks for having me back. This it's is so good. Here. Everybody, I'm going to say this right now, I feel like everybody loves a good hearty oh, yeah. tomato soup, It's right? a win for everyone, isn't it? Why is this such a perfect soup for the winter time? Yeah, well, first of all, I call it a hug in a bowl. It really like is. Like, you can just sit there, <laughs> trying it already. I'm it hugging are. the bowl. Yeah, you really <laughs> and the bowl's yeah. hugging back. Yeah. And you know what? If people are meal prepping, they do. Um, if they're meal prepping for winter, it freezes well. Uh -huh. We make it all really? year long for my big family. And I think it's also a great way to get people around the table and nourish relationships, too. So oh, I love that, that all too. happens over tomato soup. All happens over tomato soup. And it's happening right now at the counter. Debbie, Maria, Kim, you guys all like enjoying it. it. It's it's so good. It's really fresh. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to put this guy aside for now. Yes. And we're going to start over here. In fact, we're going to start with some nice hearty chicken sausage. That's right. Okay. Everything happens in one big pot. So you just want to hand those to me. Chicken sausage, just to change it up. You could use boneless, skinless chicken breast if you like. Okay. But we're going to saute these three. Good flavors in that onion. sausage. Very nice. Then sweet wow. onion. Every good soup starts with an onion. Somebody yeah. was busy chopping that onion up. Oh I got to tell goodness, you. Oh, my goodness, right? I would have been crying. <laughs> now, I like that you're also adding some mushrooms into the soup, and I know there's a specific reason why you like to use mushrooms. Yeah, so mushrooms are a nutrient Ooh. powerhouse. Mm. They have potassium, energy-giving B vitamins, a range of antioxidants, and then they also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but they're the only source of vitamin D that you're going to find in the produce section of the grocery. How about that? Oh, vitamin D, vitamin D, D mushroom. in the exactly. mushrooms. Well, that. They must take it from the sun. They must. Oh, they just do, that and up. that's the thing. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin, so I call mushrooms the good mood booster. Oh, I love because mushrooms. Because they help lower stress. That's right. I also call them the great multiplier because what you can do is take any protein, add an equal amount of chopped mushrooms. There you go. And you've increased the portion for pennies. I love that. That's a great idea. Yeah. And, I, and I know you've got some olive oil in there already and you're gonna let that kind of come together for a bit normally we would let this on the stove for how long uh saute for 15 to saute 20 for okay there you that's go. right but, but we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going for the purposes of television yeah. we're adding we're adding dried oregano the okay. one more thing about mushrooms oh, camera, that i want to mention please. is that you, we do that for taco tuesday we do Ooh. like a pound of ground oh, beef, a pound of chopped mushroom. The kids are getting in oh, veggies without that. knowing it. They don't even the know saturated it. Fat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you cut that. that. We call it the blend. It's so easy and to you do. You don't even know the difference because mushrooms do taste like meat because of yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah. They're meat. Yeah. She's got it. Yeah. The umami. Yeah. So they're kind of like a flavor. Well, that's why that's a great trick. Love that. Love yeah. using mushrooms if you yes. don't eat meat at all. So that's yes. So you could. Yep. Get more veggies in for twenty. Do you have a favorite kind of mushroom? I love baby bellas. There you go. Mm -hmm. They're my, okay. Do you? I'm an evil uh, mushroom lover. <laughs> first one that comes to mind is portobello, but I yeah. don't really have like a whole like list of my favorite Give mushrooms. Your... I got to be honest. <laughs> so good. There There's no go. mushroom scroll yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. You know, I'm still working on it. So okay. we added in some garlic. Great to boost the immune okay. system for winter. Excellent. And then this is tomato paste. So think of tomato paste as like the espresso of the tomato world. Okay. Debbie calls it the secret, the secret ingredient. ingredient. You do? It's the secret hidden ingredient in yeah. everything in Greek cuisine. Is it really? Oh yeah, Greeks always add a Spoonful of tomato paste. Oh, <laughs> oh, I like the way you say it. So I'm on, I'm it on tab. Right? That extra mommy, you know, that extra kick. That's mm. right. That's right. So it makes it uh, rich and filling and hearty. Just look at this uh, pot right here. And remember, we're making yeah. soup. Look how hearty this soup yeah. is. I mean, it's amazing. Almost like a stew. Okay, now speaking of soup, we've got some diced tomatoes here. Yes. Canned. These it's are okay. canned tomatoes. Oh, absolutely. One of the best things to keep in your pantry for the winter, canned tomatoes. Excellent. Because of them being canned, actually, so this is the dietitian coming out in me. Okay. It's broken down the cell wall of the tomato so yes. your body can absorb more of the right. great right. lycopene mm. and all the wonderful oh. It's a little easier on the gut, too. Exactly. Yeah, a little yeah. easier to digest. Yeah. 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 The onions, I have. I know you'll know this because I'm sure a lot of the people that you work with have the same problem. I can't eat raw onions. It oh. upsets my stomach in okay. a really bad way because of the whatever's in the raw onion. But yes. when they're cooked, you're no fine. Really? Interesting. Yeah, because it okay. breaks down that chemical in the mm -hmm. onion. Yes, it sure does. It makes it easier to digest and absorb. Fantastic. A little salt in there, too. A little salt. Just going to magnify the flavor. Okay. And, and now the chicken broth. That's right, chicken broth. So as you're pouring the broth in, take the take your spatula, wooden spoon, and kind of scrape up all the brown bits on the bottom oh. of that pot. So you just add more and more flavor. So I let this simmer for like 
30 minutes. Mm, I mean, it could I go on it. all day. Fantastic. You could put it in the slow cooker mm -hmm. if you want it this point. I love it. Would you use a little bone broth, too? Is that possible? Oh, yeah. Okay, you could so use that. Saying. Stop whatever you have on hand. I mean, people at home must be so day. tired of me trying to swap out chicken broth for bone broth. It's, I'm like a broken record. <laughs> is it like a mission? Is it? Well... You know, right. it's, it's got a lot of uh, benefits as well. Okay, Duh. so we cut that, let that come together. About yes. 30 minutes, you said. Yep. Now, we could stop there, but why would you? You're going to get a nice cheesy lasagna that's topping right. to doll up on if top, you're on right? on a diet for 2020, stop there. We're not. <laughs> okay, so we're that's right. Keep going. Absolutely not. But, you know, a lot of people are coming off dairy, whatever. You could stop here, and it would be absolutely it delicious absolutely. and comforting and filling. Very good. Okay, instead, we're going to make a cheesy lasagna topping. Okay. So it starts with ricotta. How would you say that, Debbie? Ricotta. Ricotta. Yeah. Ricotta. <laughs> Yeah. That's how I'd say it, too. <laughs> <laughs> then Parmesan. Okay, want me to mix this together? Okay. There we go. And then some flat leaf Italian parsley. Okay. You're noticing a theme, a little more garlic. So yeah. I found out I'm expecting. I've craved garlic. Oh what? Wait, 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 hold on a second. You can't just throw that away like that. The baby bump is coming. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. So much, oh, oh, my goodness. Well, we've oh. joked about the baby being half Italian because I've just craved stuff like oh, this. Oh, yeah. my Lots goodness. Of That's beautiful. Oh. I had 10 weeks. I'm due August oh 5th. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, you heard it here December. first, folks. Had a, having a baby in August. There we go. Yes. Thank you, guys. Beautiful. So. Look, the whole counter has just, we've just lost oh. them. They're now, uh, that that, that's so beautiful. Sweet. We're really happy oh. for you. Thank very, you. Very, very happy for yes, you. Yes, we're okay, excited. Good. It was a big surprise, but we're totally excited. So, do you yeah. want to serve, or do you sure, think I can? I will. No, you go ahead and pour. Okay, all right. There we go. We'll do one yep. more little nice bit. Nice big bowl. Here. Now, the, the wonderful okay. thing is you're going to take a huge scoop of this cheesy okay. lasagna topping. You got it all right? Let me Put it in. Yep. There oh you God. go. Beautiful. Cameron, stir it in and okay. it makes this just it makes the soup what? naturally oh. creamy. Look at this soup. There's so much garlic in this. I'm glad we're it's all eating right. it so it'll cancel like each it. other out when we talk to each other. I'm definitely getting a warm, cozy like hug it. right now. Yeah. Yeah. This right. is amazing. It's good enough for the baby, it's good enough oh, for us. Right. That's right. I like that. Yes, that oh, is thank wonderful. You. And of course, you can find this delicious recipe on HallmarkChannel.com.